In today's tutorial, we're diving into the fundamentals of Excel VBA. We'll be exploring data types and understanding DIM statement and set keyword. To insert VBA code to the Excel workbook, press Alt plus F11 to open Visual Basic Editor. Right click on your workbook name and select Insert. Choose Module from the context menu. In VBA, we have to use a DIM statement to declare a variable. To declare a variable, Type the keyword dim at the start. After that, enter the name of the variable that you want to use. Next, you need to use the word as and you'll get an instant list of data types. Choose the data type that you want to assign to the variable. Once you've made your declaration statement, you can initialize your variable. Data types are the building blocks of any programming language, and VBA is no exception. These are the common variable data types with examples. Boolean stores true or false values. Integer stores whole numbers. Long stores larger whole numbers. Double stores decimal numbers. Date stores date and time values. String stores text. You can declare multiple variables in a single DIM statement. As shown in the example. You need to use the DIM statement when you need to declare an array as well. Here is an example. In this example, we're declaring an array named fruits that can store five string values. The indices range from one to five. You can then assign values to each element. Constants in VBA are useful for storing values that remain constant throughout the execution of a program. Here is an example of using mathematical constants. Let's take a look at an example to demonstrate how to use variables in code. Firstly, we declare variables length, width, area, and perimeter using the dim statement. We assign values to length and width. We perform calculations using these variables to find the area and perimeter of a rectangle. We display the results using a message box that shows the calculated area and perimeter. If you do not specify a data type when you declare a variable, or you do not declare a variable at all, Visual Basic automatically specifies the variant data type for this variable. There are advantages of variables that are declared as variant data type. The first one is the variables can contain a string, date, time, boolean, or numeric values. The second one is the variables can convert the values that they contain automatically. The disadvantage is that variant variables require at least 16 bytes of memory. 16 bytes of memory can be significant in large procedures or complex modules. Let's take a look at an example. We declare two variables, variable 1 and variable 2, without specifying a data type. Therefore, they are automatically treated as variant data types. We assign a string value to variable 1 and a numeric value to variable 2. We concatenate the string and numeric values. The variant data type allows this operation without explicit conversion. We display the result using a message box. The set keyword is fundamental in VBA when working with objects. It is used to assign an object reference to an object variable. Objects in VBA refer to elements within Excel, such as worksheets, ranges, charts. Here's a simple example to illustrate the use of the set keyword with an object variable. In this example, we declare two object variables, my worksheet and my range. We use the set keyword to assign a reference to the sheet one worksheet to my worksheet. We then use the set keyword again to assign a reference to cell A1 within my worksheet to my range. We modify the value of the cell within the range. Finally, we display a message box with the modified value. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. 
Subscribe for more useful tips.